Thank you very much. Uh, my take on points uh, regarding 2017 Congress is that, uh, well, uh, as, as usual, we had uh, very uh, candid discussions. Our policymakers is our theme uh, was talking to issues on uh, on the new economy. The new economy obviously is uh, centered on the enterprising of uh, SMEs, the growth uh, of SMEs because uh, like any, any economy, uh, Particularly in economy like like China, it grew on the on the back of their emerging entrepreneurs. So, for me, I think there is a number of areas that we have discussed that needed to look at the at at the growth and expansion of SMEs. There is an SME policy which I think we need to interrogate further. It's unfortunate, perhaps, that we did not have uh, the ministry represented here. But uh, certainly, uh, you see that um, most of the economists, most of the people that uh, um, are in big business, really uh, thrive on uh, getting SMEs on board in terms of uh, their 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 business. Uh, so for me. Um, the discussions uh, were, were, were candid enough. We need to be open to each other. I think issues of competitiveness are issues that we really need to look after. We need to look at very critically. Uh, besides, obviously, our policymakers putting in the enablers in place. As business, we also have got a part to play. In particular, we need to to ensure that we improve on efficiencies. We need to improve on productivity. Uh, only then we'll be able to be more competitive because our goods and services are not that competitive because uh, we are priced very highly. Our labor costs are extremely high, our utility costs are extremely high and these are things that uh, we discuss with the uh, police makers to look at and ensure that uh, as they run along with the issue on uh, ease of doing business, they address this as quickly as possible. I have already started, uh, uh, have hit the ground running. Uh, soon after Congress this afternoon we went to a meeting with the team, uh, both secretariat and the executive members from all the regions. We were basically doing a post-mortem of our awards last night to see where we, we, we went wrong, where we went right, the areas of opportunities and, and, and areas of, of improvement. Again, uh, the next thing is uh, we are going to come up with a roadmap, the deputy president, the CEO, and the NEC, uh, we will meet in the next two weeks and be able to come up with what we need to run with but most importantly we already have got subcommittees that uh, we are going to ensure uh, are chaired by people that have got the necessary expertise that have got the necessary skills obviously that also have the necessary commitment because the chamber is run through subcommittees it is structured in such a manner that uh, if it's macroeconomics we've got a person who is obviously well versed in issues of uh, macroeconomics uh, and advocates and, and obviously trade and uh, if it's to do with governance we have a person that uh, so uh, with those teams I will be able to lead those teams to ensure that we deliver on what the members expect and uh, what members expect is essentially they want to grow their business in an environment in a climate that is conducive and that is what we are going to work and ensure that we engage the necessary st uh, stakeholders to get all those things um, uh, 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 attended to. Uh, again, I think uh, one of the areas that we're going to do is to ensure that the chamber evolves as, as one throughout the country. We don't want to see a situation where, you know, uh, perhaps some people in Matebeleland feel they should change because there's lower representation. So we'll address all those issues. For me, those are some of the critical areas that uh, I will be attending to. One of the subcommittees that is very, very important is the um, enterprise development and innovation um, subcommittee because we want to hold the hands of SMEs because we want them to build the future industries of, of Zimbabwe. So we will be working with uh, with uh, people that are very innovative and I think we are going to work with even tertiary institutions because they've got programs that uh, assist and there's a lot of research and development to, 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 to help uh, SMEs maybe to <coughs> to see how they can uh, they can be supported. Uh, you cannot run a business without understanding uh, what it takes 
and obviously issues of uh, uh, enterprise uh, training, enterprise development is what we'll also be going to be doing in particular for small enterprises, for emerging entrepreneurs that we hope will be the future giants of tomorrow.